days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Where the stars inside the sky We're the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Hello Aries this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 22nd of January until the 28th of January 2018. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Three of Swords. You might be feeling lonely, heartbreak, betrayal, separation and grief. By preparing for this difficult event, the emotional blow can be minimized or even prevented entirely. This is all about release. When you have suffered a major setback, or loss, it is a good time to have a good cry, which is all part of the cleansing process. Expressing your sadness and letting it all out will then help you to move on to better times. However, it is also important that you continue to focus on the future path ahead. There can be a risk that you may become overly absorbed in the loss and the surrounding emotions that you lose sight of the need to just let go and move on. The loss becomes your focus rather than the recovery. It is time to accept the loss and then move forward with your life. That said, pain. Sorrow and grief are often a necessity in the journey of life. Without pain, there would be no challenge and no lessons learned. Pain can be a great motivator because it encourages you to surmount obstacles and ultimately learn from your mistakes. Each challenge you encounter creates that initial pain, which is inevitably turned into an opportunity to grow stronger and to change the direction of your life as a result of the lessons learned. While the pain may cloud your vision for a certain period, it will eventually allow you to see clearly and to put the past behind you. Though life seems meaningless at the time, recovery can and will occur. It takes faith, self-love, forgiveness and time. Count your blessings. The Three of Swords therefore serves as a reminder that if you can start to see pain as a learning opportunity, life will suddenly become less painful. You need to really get in touch with pain and sorrow. Challenges remain but once they are no longer perceived as negative or bad, they lose a lot of their impact. This card is therefore encouraging you that you have the ability to conquer any pain that comes your way. Understand how the pain can help you grow. If someone has betrayed you and you do not think you can never love again, challenge that belief. Do not be surprised when your heart emerges from darkness, capable of loving even more than before. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is. The Three of Wands. What do you want most right now is to expand your horizons, through study, travel, business enterprise and learning. You need to become more aware of the opportunities that exist for you right now as there may be more than you are aware of. To best see and take advantage of them you must concentrate, cooperate and remain open-minded. You may be more aware that your best opportunities lie outside of your current environment, so it is time to think big. Consider what you can do to open doors for yourself and create more development and self-exploration opportunities. It also signifies the changes and challenges that are up ahead and that are associated with expanding your horizons and entering new territories. Given the man in this card can see far ahead of himself, then you are likely to already be aware of the upcoming changes and challenges and can prepare for them ahead of time. Similarly, 
This card is also about embracing change and adopting a longer term view. It indicates you are in a position of strength as you control what happens around you. Thus, this is a card of vision and foresight and looking for greater possibilities. You are being encouraged to become a visionary and to dream beyond your current limitations. Now is the time to accept your vision and be confident that you will achieve it. Move fearlessly into new areas. Given the expanse of the water in the card, the Three of Wands often depicts travel. This card encourages you to think big in terms of where you want to travel to and what you will discover along the way. This card sees you traveling over water to a faraway country, where you will then have the opportunity to fully develop yourself and learn many new things. I see this as a wonderful card of opportunity that encourages you to be bold and take this leap of faith to truly develop who you are. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Nine of Swords. You are full of fear, worry, anxiety and not being able to sleep because your thoughts are running at 100 miles an hour. You are working yourself up and becoming incredibly stressed and anxious when, really, this does not have to be a complicated issue. You have a tendency to get very worked up about how bad a situation appears, losing sight of what it is really happening and what opportunities are available to you. What is needed here is for you to stop and objectively examine the reality of the situation. Bring yourself back to earth by uncovering your fears and anxieties and working to reduce the impact of those fears and anxieties on your life. Know that it is going to be okay, no matter what. Overall, your worry and despair may actually be causing you harm. The more you worry about something, the more likely it is you will manifest your worst nightmares. Do not let this nightmare become your reality. Take a deep breath and realize that life is not as bad as it seems and that the more you worry, the more harm you are doing to yourself. It is also possible that you have already worked through this period of worry and depression and are beginning to make recovery. You may have recently come to the realization that it is not as bad as you had made it out to be and you are beginning to relax and calm yourself about what was once a terrifying situation. You may also find that your dreams are very telling at this time. Use a dream journal to help you analyze what is happening at a subconscious level. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the four of pentacles. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You are very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increase your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You are self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. This card also indicates possessiveness greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks, both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. Deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sometimes, the Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty, safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. 
any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus, you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the king of wands. There would be a male significant figure in your life who is from fire signs just like yourself as a fire sign, who can be dominating, pushy, and overbearing at times. This is rarely done with malice or an intention to make someone else submissive, it is just a strong tendency that sometimes takes control. He does not even realize when he or she crosses the line between being assertive and aggressive. At worst, the King of Wands typifies the most selfish, ruthless qualities of fire. He can denote a manipulative business contact who will use you as long as it serves his purpose. He may be a rival, competitor or unscrupulous opponent. In love, he represents a delightful flirtation that could wreak emotional havoc. He is only suitable for limited liaisons, holiday romances or brief, passionate encounters. His flames are bright and warm but soon die down. As an aspect of yourself, the King of Wands can suggest that you have set your expectations of yourself too high and may struggle to achieve those expectations. As such, you may end up feeling like a failure because you have not been able to achieve what you want in both areas of your life. Set more realistic goals for yourself and know that you cannot do everything nor please everyone. There may also be times when you become frustrated with the lack of progress in your endeavors, particularly if this is being influenced by your dependence on others. You may find that there are some people who are holding you back and preventing you from fully realizing your dreams and goals. If this is the case, it is best to cut them loose as no amount of energy will change their perspective. You may also need to be a bit more lenient on others and accept that not everyone has as much energy and drive as you to achieve results. Accept what they have to offer and do not expect anything more. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the King of Swords. You will have clarity of mind and can perceive the truth right now, so you must take the lead with providing an objective point of view. You are well positioned to judge your situation appropriately and identify the limiting behaviors that are getting the way. This is a time when you need to leave emotions out of it, and remain as objective and rational as possible. You may need to reason with others and be quite direct about what you are observing. You may be concerned that you are not being particularly caring or sympathetic but at this point in time, this detachment is what is needed most. Similarly, the King of Swords encourages you to use your logic and intellect to navigate your path ahead. You will need to get to the heart of the matter, make firm and well-researched decisions, and ensure that you are firm but fair in your dealings with others. You need to be able to take any situation, look at it with total impartiality, and then come to a decision that is both fair and insightful. Oftentimes, the King of Swords represents a professional advisor, such as a solicitor or attorney, financial advisor or taxation consultant. This advisor has a solid reputation and a vast amount of knowledge in his particular field, and will provide you with objective, well-researched advice about your own situation. He is completely impartial, and will draw upon his experience and his innate knowledge of the rules, systems and structures that are in place. He may come across as detached or disinterested in your personal circumstances, unless it relates specifically to the type of advice he is giving you. This is so that he can provide only the most relevant and objective advice to you. He prides himself in his expertise and qualifications, and is likely to charge a high fee for his services. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is 
The Serpent The Serpent's message is one of healing and of gaining knowledge. Whatever situation you're in right now is meant for this purpose. The Serpent also reminds you that knowledge is important. Perhaps it's time for you to read a book or take a class in order to gain more understanding of your inquiry, or you may need to ask questions of others who know and can help you. Ask the serpent and you will be guided to the right answer easily and effortlessly. The serpent heralds success if you follow his signal. The serpent also lets you know that you may be suffering because there are aspects of yourself that are wounded and still need tending. Now is the time for this. Perhaps you need to rest, meditate, and allow the knowledge to come to consciousness. Or maybe you just need to sleep more. Another aspect of serpent energy is that each time you experience a healing or learn new things, you may need to shed your skin to adopt a new one. But don't worry, the serpent says that it's a necessary and beautiful thing. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.